Hi there. This is a remake of Some and Any for those of you who had problems with the sound. Some we use for positive statements. Any we use for negative and interrogative statements. But careful, this is a general rule. So for example, I have some money. I don't have any money. Do you have any money? Okay, that's the simple basic. Now, we also use some in questions when we are making offers. Would you like some more coffee? Okay, I'm making an offer. Would you like some lunch? Okay, these are offers. So when we make offers w with questions, we can use some. We also use some in questions when we expect the answer yes. Okay. Um, do you have some money? I'm certain you do. Do you have any money? This is a real question I want to know. So, do you have some money? I think you do, and I think your answer will be yes. Do you have any money? I don't know. Please tell me. Notice, we use any in words that don't have, in sentences that don't have a not, but already have a word that is intrinsically negative. For example, hardly, it means almost not, scarcely, almost not, barely. So, I have hardly any money. The hardly here counts as a negative because it has a negative meaning. I have barely any money. I have scarcely any money. So, there you are, some and any. Some for positive phrases, any for negative and interrogative. Some in questions when we make offers or when we expect the answer yes. And remember any in positive sentences that have a word with negative meaning. I have scarcely any friends. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Please subscribe to my channel. And any questions, please comment. And I hope the sound is better in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.